today we're going to look at random that's been quite difficult uh recently children find that really hard so hopefully this video can help you um get a little bit more practice at home so here's a set of arithmetic questions that you can uh practice pause the video uh, write it out on a piece of paper uh once you're ready uh unpause the video and you can check the answers so here are the answers check them if you're um if you're correct or not if you are incorrect maybe try the question again and see how you got to the answer okay so today we'll be recapping on round and discuss what we've learned so far this is what we'll be discussing in class today um what have you learned so far in random what do you know so i've got a certain number here and i would like you all in on your piece of paper to round to the nearest 10. now think about the rules that we've been practicing in um school when you're rounding to the nearest 10 which digit do you need to look at to round up or down okay so here are Here's my hundreds column, here's my tens, here's my units. If the question is asking me to round to the nearest 10, I must look at the next unit, which is the closest, which is the 3 in the units column. Now, I know that any number from 1 to 4 will round down. And any number above that, so 5 to 9, will round up. So I'll pause the video, I'll have a look, oh, this is a practice from what you did last week, so hopefully you should be okay with this. Okay, now, we'll start off with this one first. It says 143, now we want to round it to the nearest 10. Now in class we've been learning to find out which numbers are the 10s that this number is in between. So we've got 40 here, so that's a given. It comes out 140. The first 10 is always given in the number. And then the next 10 up would literally be another 10. So 150. So this number is in between these two multiples of 10. Now we want to find out which one it's nearest to. So we look at the 3. The 3 rounds down, as we can see here. So our answer is 140. Now this is quite a broken down version. If you are past that um, uh, way of working out and you can just have a look at the number. So for example, if I have 278 and I need to round to the nearest 10, I can go straight to the 10s and see, okay, right, this is seven. I need to look at the nearest uh, place value, which is the eight going down. So here is eight. So we know that we have to round up to the next multiple so if i know this is eight and i round it up i go to the next 10 which i know is not seven 70 but it's 80 so i know that it will be 280. now pause the video and have a little go at the rest and then we'll go through the answers okay i hope that was okay hope that was quite simple enough so this would be 210 as it's a one uh this would be the units eight so it would be seven eighty sorry this would be a 9, so you round up, would be 140. And this is a 2, so you round down to 590. This one is a 5, so you round up, and it will be 370. And this one is rounding up as well. So here is where it gets difficult. So we know that if we take out the 690 here, I might need to go back a step and go back to this method. So two, 690 is what's already given, and the next 10 up would be 7. So I know that it's rounding up, so my answer is 700. Hope that was okay. Now, next thing, these are the same numbers. Now, I'm not going to ask you to do the same question again, but to notice the, diff the similarities in rounding to the nearest 100 and the nearest 10. Sometimes you might be the same number, sometimes you won't. Have a little go. If I'm rounding to the nearest 100, I go to the hundreds column, and then I look at the next value up, which is the 4. Do I round up or down? If you said down, you were correct, so it would go down to 100 because they, this number is in between these two hundreds. Now pause the video and have a little go. Okay, so I hope that was okay. So it would be 
300 here because you round up, round down so 200, round up so 600, sorry I'm doing it with the mouse so it's quite messy so this one will be 7 up. Um, because this is the tens and we're looking at the hundreds here so even that's a zero even though that's a zero we still look at the tens column so that's rounding up so it would be up to a hundred this one is rounding down so it would be a hundred this one is rounding up so it would be seven hundred so notice that this is the uh, same answer as last and this is rounding up so it's four hundred now have a little go with that you can either get your parents to give you random numbers and tell them that I need to uh, round to the nearest hundred and have a little go. This only will get better with practice. It's quite difficult to understand and grasp, but with practice, you can get this. Good luck, um, and if you need any help, you can come and visit your teacher or if you've got any questions.